Happy Thursday. What are we pursuing that makes us happy? That makes our heart scream and, yes, I need more of that. What is it? I know the irony for me is that I've pursued a lot of things in the past, whether it's a relationship, a career, or a job, or a, a specific toy, you know. Uh, and the pursuit of that was one thing, but then when I attained it, it was not what I had hoped it would be. Which then sent me back into, well, what... It, it made me reflect on what it was I was pursuing. <laughs> and, and I am not... Uh, I have not nailed this <laughs> in a lot of areas of my life, but maybe... And maybe not in any of my areas of my life, but it has forced me um, to reflect on what I want. What I want in my life. What career I want. What do I want to spend my time pursuing? And what truly makes me fulfilled as this spiritual being having a human experience. And I've been lucky enough to be able to meet people that have certain things that I think that I want. I get to know them. They've shared with me their journey and I get to piece together where I want to go what I want to pursue next but it doesn't negate my own journey of asking the questions of why do I want to do this why do I want to pursue this what is the end game for me and not the and yes sometimes it's it, it for me I get into this result oriented place what I want at the end of the the journey but, if, but I might not ever get there. So if I'm not enjoying the process of getting there, maybe I don't want to go. There's no guarantees that I'm going to get what I want. The guarantee is that there's going to be work to get there. That I'm going to... That, that's been my experience, that there's going to be some work. And unless I'm enjoying the process, it's going to be a bumpy ride. And it might be a bumpy ride even if I enjoy it. Because that's just an adjective on top of the experience. And some of this may be even be a luxury. To be able to choose what you want in life is a luxury. Some people... Have some people's choice is just that they want to eat. How do they get their food? And those people do... I've met some of those people. They, some, they were happier than I was when I met them. Because life was the process, the experience, the relationships with their loved ones, their children, their elders. That experience helped me reflect on my experience helped me understand and be grateful for that which I have and been gifted with. Doesn't matter if it's fair. Life isn't fair. Life doesn't give a shit. Life is. <laughs> Life is the gift. What do you choose to do with it? Do you want to be a selfish individual and covet and be greedy and just you, you, you? Or do you want to give back and and partake and participate in the nourishment and the prosperity of basically humanity because we are connected we share the same air we share water <sighs> the 
We are a part of the same. So do what you want. We get to. We get to live or you get to die. That is still part of living. If you die, you've had a bit of life, whatever that may be, a millisecond, fraction of a millisecond, or a hundred years. You get to choose how to spend that which we've created, time. So for me, digging into why I want or how I want, how I get, how I get to, why I get to spend the time here. In this moment, how do I get to spend this time? Who do I get to spend the moments with? That's amazing. And sometimes they're not, even when I think they're supposed to be. I want to spend time with this person, and it's just arduous and torturous. And okay, but that's an experience. I don't know. And I love that. Breathe. Right here, right now. Big light. Much love. Smile. Peace.